Good morning, Byron Schools. Welcome to the Byron News Network. My name is Trey. And I'm Trevor. Today is Wednesday, November 9, 2016. It is B-Day. Today's band lessons are all flutes, periods 3 and 4, all trumpets, period 7 and 8, and all French horns, period 13 and 14. 7th grade seek meets today, 15... 7th grade seek meets today, periods 15 and 16. 5th and 6th grade will meet next week. Food drive challenge. The peer leaders will be collecting non Purchable foods items next week during lunch and all-purpose room. Place your food items in the correct box by grade level. The grade level to collect the most food items will receive a special treat. Stay tuned for hints on what it might be. Food will be collected starting Monday, November 14th to Friday, November 18th. Attention all 6th, 7th, and 8th grade girls interested in joining the Byron Rams cheerleading squad for 2016-2017 season. Forms are available outside of Mrs. Smith's room 105. Please take a form quickly because all necessary paperwork is due back by November 18th. Join us in supporting our girls and boys basketball teams. Support the 2017 sixth grade trip to Frost Valley. Clean out your closets and donate clothing, shoes, belts, and toys. Donations are accepted now till November 16th. The drop off at drop off at the main entrance. Soccer team. All soccer uniforms must be returned to Mr. Linsky in order to attend the pizza soccer party. The party is tomorrow until 2:30. Please pick up permission slips from Mr. Linsky or Mr. Capriotti in the afternoon homeroom. Safe Control's next meeting is Tuesday, November 15th. This is the last opportunity to join and be eligible to attend the Sky Zone trip in May. Get your permission slips in the main office and bring them to Ms. Hurling in room 117 as soon as possible. Basketball tryouts are here. Girls, your tryouts take place after school today and tomorrow. Boys tryouts are Monday, November 21st and Tuesday, November 22nd. You must be recorded by Mr. Rafferty in order to try out. In honor of Veterans Day this Friday, BNN reporters Haley, Aaron, Emily, Julia, and Charlotte spoke to Byron students and teachers. Here's their segment. You realize he did that for a very special reason. Because in no time she yeah. saw her brother. Oh, oh, Marley, what's up, how are you? employees? It's a reunion that thrills everyone who sees it. Guy by the window said, son, what's your name? He said, hi, I'm Jimmy, just back from overseas. When these boots touch down in Texas, I'm gonna drop to my knees. Cause I ain't seen my wife in 18 months and 14 days. The man smiled at him and said, well, let me be the first to say, welcome home, welcome home. It's good to have you back where you belong. Kenzie Siraldi will long remember this holiday season. For days, the five-year-old has constantly hoped her father, 27-year-old Salvatore Siroldi of Jackson, would return home from his U.S. Air Force Base 1,200 miles away in Mississippi. On Sunday morning inside Ocean County Mall in Toms River, Mackenzie finally asked Santa Claus to make her wish come true in time for Christmas. After Santa sent a quick text message, he delivered as expected. Who in your family was in the military? Uh, my dad and my uh, great 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 grandpa were both. My cousin Alan. How old is he? Uh, his 20s. Who in your family is in the military? My four uncles. And do you see them often? Yeah. Who in your family is in the military? My brother in law. How old is he? He is 28. Do you see him often? Um, right now we don't because he's deployed in. Um, Sicily, so he is gone until this coming spring. Is it hard for you? It's hard because we don't have as much contact as we did. Um, he was stationed in North Carolina, so we would see him for the holidays and everything, so this will be the first year without him. Today's quote is from William Soroyan, American playwright and novelist. He said, good people are good because they've come to wisdom through failure. When we learn from our mistakes, the wisdom we gain is the silver th lining. So let's be wise people and let each failure and each mistake be an opportunity to learn and to grow. Today, keep a positive attitude and look for the good, even if it's bad situations. Make it, Make a, it great a great day, day by them. Them.